All right, well, if you're warmed up, please play something for me. Okay, sounded good. Thank you. Part of the Arvin characteristic studies. Mm -hmm. I forget which one, because I avoided playing them at all costs, but that's good. Um, before we go any further, though, I insist on the, the bread up front, please. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. So why don't you play that again? Just now that you're a little more warmed up, just, you know, go for it. Great. That sounded great. Um, however, maybe a little room for improvement. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen any of my instructional videos, but there's this thing that I like to incorporate musically in a variety of situations. It's entitled the cha. The cha. Okay. No, have you, uh, any, I haven't. Your haven't teachers heard. haven't? I don't think so. Who are you studying with? <laughs> Obviously the wrong people. I would say so. <laughs> Well, let's assume they're teaching you other valuable lessons, though I can't imagine how. Um, let's just use just the very end of that, a little C arpeggio, right? It was very nice. That was nice, but we want to give the audience a finality so that they know we can go nuts and clap for this person now after this wonderful performance. So... Maybe something like... And then maybe even at the end, you know... You know, so that they, they realize, hey, this is the end, you can clap for me now. It's a little different, right? Sure, yeah, okay. So, why don't you try that now? Uh, that, one more time. One more, one more time. <sighs> no. It somehow sounds a little better, but at the end there, it felt like you were just going, Whoa! like, you know, like when you drink too much, you're 21, right? Good. You know when you drink too much and you vomit at the end of the night? Yeah, it was kind of more like that. We want to make it more like that burp before you vomit where you have to say, excuse me for a moment, and then you go to the bathroom and then gotcha. act yeah. like you just have to use the restroom. Does that make <laughs> sense? Yeah, okay. So what I'm trying to say is the, your first approach sounded like this. Close. The second one kind of reminded me of going... You know, and the next thing you know, we're on Ninth Avenue at New Year's Eve. So I'm trying to avoid that and or St. Patty's Day vibe. But what I'm trying to approach is more celebratory. Just think of like, ah, oh, I just did this great thing. You're like playing the note and then going, ah, uh -huh. and everybody goes, that was amazing on Broadway. And uh, yeah, one more time, one more time for me. And then I would like to try a few different tacks. We're still not getting it. You know, excuse me, it's just uh, um, Alka-Seltzer. <coughs> Alright, let's play something else. Uh, give me something else, because obviously the legit thing's not working for you. I mean, that nice sound, don't get me wrong. How about, um, are you familiar with any jazz musicians, jazz treble players? A couple. Okay. Uh, who do your teachers talk to you about? Uh, Woody Shaw, Lee Morgan, uh, Freddie Hubbard. Not really ringing any bells, but if you know any any of their tunes, I guess maybe I can listen. How about a solo? Okay, sure, a solo of one of the. Do, do you know Big Spider Beck? I've heard of him, but I I don't know any solos. 
of his. I'm guessing he wasn't your teacher either. Jesus. Uh, please, play something. Pretty. Who was that? Lee Morgan. I'm not familiar. You know, my dad used to talk about him, but I just, I don't know why. Anyway, already, I, I hear like eight places to add this, mm. which I think would only make the composition better. Sure. Do you agree with that, or are you just saying I sure I'll because... See. I don't know yet. Well, you already paid me, so I really could care less what you think. So, I'm thinking more like... I mean, right there, we're just adding intensity to it. Yeah. You know, maybe a little more vibrato and just try doing that. Just try the, those three bars. The rest was too hard for me to remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, already better. Do you think it's better? Possibly, yeah. I'm sorry? Yeah, I think it is. Yes, yes that yes. would be the right friggin' answer right now. Excellent. All right, well, play, play a little bit more of that. Try, try from the top of that jazzy thing and just add as many as you can. You know, I'll say yes or no when I dig it or not. Or mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. No, right there. You were taking a down breath. low. Though. You were taking, yeah, down low, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. See, already, I'm much more interested in what's going on. Okay. Even without a rhythm section. Who needs the rhythm section, right? All of a sudden, I'm hearing the harmonic overtones in the cha in and of itself. And that's what we're really looking for. Full-bodied cha. You know, I don't know what kind of women you like, but, you know, if that's your thing, think of full-bodied cha. Uh -huh. Close your eyes. Imagine whoever that lady friend might be. Does that make any sense at this point? Yeah. I, okay. It yeah, does. I, I'm, not, I'm not really... Well, I got the money, whatever. All right, well, at this point, I think maybe we should just play a tune together so you can get a little practical application, not just playing uh, whatever it was you were playing, which slightly resembled something, I guess, like a chug. Why don't uh, we play a tune? Why don't you pick a tune? Let's do a uh, straight note chaser. Straight note chaser? Yeah. Sure. I, I think we can work on that. <sighs> you want to count on them? Getting it? See okay. how much more exciting those solos were? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Right? I think so. Do you? Yeah, I do. All right. I think you're starting to get it. All right, well, basically, for what you just paid me, we kind of ran out of time in the middle of, like, your second chorus right there. So, any questions really quick before we get this, you know? Um, well, it seems like you're uh, pretty, pretty deep into the Broadway scene. How would you... I don't know how to take that, but How okay. would you implement the Cha playing on Broadway? 
You know, that's an excellent question. That's just water at this point. You know, I kind of look at it as what the defensive linemen say in football. To get to the quarterback, you hit him early and you hit him often. And I just think, you know, if the quarterback, in this case of the conductor, first rehearsal, right out of the gate, maybe even the tuning note, just you hit him early and hit him often, first couple of times they're like, what was that? After that, it's just kind of expected. They're used to it. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, any other questions? Jesus, you're killing me. What's, what's the highest note you can draw? That is an excellent question. And bring back some more friggin' money, and maybe I'll let you hear it. Perfect. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> no offense. I mean, you know, but you have to pay for what you get in this life. You know, which is why I'm in a basement of someone else's house living on a sofa. That's not the point. But I don't want to delve too deeply into my own psyche. So I'll tell you what. Why don't I give you a little, little thing as you pack up. And, sure, sure. You know, maybe you tell your students in the future about this, or maybe go back to your teachers now and say, how do you not know about this? And then have them call me and I can get more money. See, this is just a cyclical thing for me. Pretty soon I'll be living on the first floor. You know what I'm saying? All right. Because I didn't know those jazz guys you were talking about, and because I'm such a classical fan myself. Yeah. <laughs> See, the flourish. Flourish, my man!